Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I repeat, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so before we go into the details of what this means, how this empowers you, and uh, where it's said, let me just give a quick overview because we'll be covering a few things in this video. Uh, I will be showing you a document and that document will be linked in the video description that you can access all the transliteration that we have shown you so far, as well as all the transliteration that would uh, be added to this uh, project, inshallah. And then what you can do is you can just copy paste it or take a screenshot of it so that you would have it handy on your phone or uh, you can also edit the transliteration to help you with pronunciation. I will also show you prayer apps that will help you to find um, timings of the prayer as well as it will also enable you uh, to look at the position and for each position what it said you would actually be able to just click the play button on your phone and it will read out for you and then you can use these videos and this sheet for you know uh, practice in the private time but during the prayer uh, the apps can be really helpful so i would like to show you that as well okay so um it, as, as far as what we have decided this is a very important way of remembering and invoking allah so any action that we do um this is something that is very important so basically what you're saying is that i'm starting in the name of allah okay thereby you are seeking assistance from allah you're seeking the blessings from allah you're you're seeking that as allah facilitates the action that you're doing the result that you're seeking allah blesses that action allah facilitates that action allah makes you successful and here you're also mentioning and uh, 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 saying two uh, great attributes of Allah, which are the attributes related to His mercy. Okay, and mercy encompasses a whole variety of things. Your mercy encompasses uh, forgiveness, and letting go, uh, being kind, so on and so forth. So, this reminds us that look, first of all, Allah is most merciful. There's no one who is more merciful than Allah. So, Allah wants our success way more than our own parents or our own family members so the one you know if allah commands us to do something if allah directs us to do something it is not to cause us harm if allah commands us to perform five daily prayers it's not for us to be less successful but rather it would make us whole and way more successful than if we were not to pray so this is something um, very important and um, so on and so forth okay so now um in, even in when you're doing your other actions, right? So when you are entering your home, you're exiting your home, you're eating, you're driving, you're taking a bus, you're whatever you're studying, you're working, um, you, you're memorizing things, uh, anything that you do, uh, even when you're changing your clothes. So try to remember to start that action by something very simple, Bismillah. You don't have to say the whole thing, just saying Bismillah before you perform ablution, right? So this is something that you would have learned while you were looking at ablution. Just start with Bismillah, right? I'm starting in the name of Allah and reminding yourself that, look, this action, Allah is watching me, okay? This will also remind you to stay away from actions that are not permissible by Allah, okay? So this is a very important thing for you to remember do, to do in your life, uh, in all your actions, to seek blessings and to seek protection from Allah as well. Okay, so we will now break down on how it's said. Uh, but before that, let me give you a quick uh, look over some of the things I wanted to show you. So this is a document that I'm uh, preparing and this will be linked in the video description. And this is also accepts, uh, accessible by bit.ly prayer translate. Okay, so I will put that link in the, do in the video description and you click on it, you'll get this document. You know, on the side, you will also see, you know, um, how you can basically navigate the document. So everything that we have done so far would be here. And right now we are covering how to recite the first chapter. And then later on, we'll also add these other things. Uh, this is a link of the PDF that I will show you and that we have used in the past. Now, actually, this is a PDF right here. Okay, so as you can see in this PDF, you know, it starts like, look, you start step one, Allahu Akbar. Then we did, you know, seeking protection from Allah, that was step two. And now we are in this thing, right? Uh, reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, the first chapter of Quran, and it's the um, most important prayer that we say, you know, several times in a day. Now, this is something that we covered before, that until you're able to say this, 
okay? Well, some people may be just able to read it, so it's not a problem. But let's say for some reason you can't, then you can just use this, right? So this is what we have discussed earlier, okay? But this is what we are covering right now. This PDF, again, would have a link in the video description, but you can also access it uh, via this link, which is mentioned in this document. Now, let me talk a brief about the apps. Uh, so you right now, the status of apps is not great, so I'm going to have to ask you to use three apps because each provides a specific function. And inshallah, God willing, if this changes in the future, I will update the links uh, here. Okay, so what I have is basically, um, I have links for Android as well as Apple, depending on whatever you're using. So for prayer, uh, this is the app for Android. This is called Salah Guide. And as you can see that, you know, it actually... Uh, walks you through different uh, things, first unit, second unit, and all the steps and motions. And uh, it also has translation and transliteration. But at the same time, as you can see here, it will show you the position, but you can also play the audio. So it would, when you play, it would tell you Allahu Akbar. Okay, so this is something that can be very beneficial. Now then we have another app. It's so one of the latest one. Sorry, here, my prayer. It's one of the latest one. Um, it's really good from learning perspective because it has videos and text explanation of how you pray, you know, all the different position, how we clean and resolve. So it's really great for that, but they don't have those, you know, audios that I was showing you earlier. So, so I hope they add audio later, but for now, uh, you know, you can use this for learning and you can use the other app, uh, sorry, this one, as a, as a guide for you uh, as you're praying. Okay, so let's close these two. Now, the counterpart for this on Apple is called Pray Space. Okay, as you can see, again, it shows you the, the, the motions, the positions, and what you say. And if you click on the, word, uh, the button play, it will actually read it out for you. So it's really good in that uh, sense. Okay. Same thing, uh, you also have this app for learning on Apple as well as Google. Right, so my prayer is for learning. Okay, now the third app that you would probably have to get is called Muslim Pro. Uh, Muslim Pro is very beneficial because it gives you a couple of different things. Most importantly, it will tell you the prayer times in your location. Okay, and remember the prayer times are basically uh, intervals. So it's not like one specific time, it's an interval. So here, um, obviously I think this is a wrong, try. like when you look at, let me see if it's right here. Yeah, I think this is a better. Yeah, so as you can see, the look, it says that Fajr, the morning prayer starts at this time and it ends at sunrise. So the morning prayer, you can pray any time between this interval from 3.15 to 5.40, whatever that local time would be, but this is an example. Then the afternoon prayer, you can pray from 12.58 to 4.57. So all the prayers are intervals like this. You can pray any time within that interval. If you're praying at mosque, they would have a specific time because that time is set for everyone to come in together and pray together. So they would pick a specific time. But if you're praying on your own, then it could be any time uh, within that interval. Other good things for this app is that it also has, you know, the whole Quran. You can uh, read the transliteration. You can listen to the Quran and you can read the translation. It also has, you know, the direction where we face, uh, you know, the direction to Mecca. It will actually give you that direction as well. So it has some great benefits. So yeah, again, going back, you'd probably get these three apps, uh, depending on whatever phone you're using. One would be a prayer app with audio, one would be a prayer time and Quran app, and one is more of Salah, the prayer learning, uh, which is called My Prayer. So I hope that was beneficial. Let's take a look at um, how do we say Bismillah rahman rahim let's break it down. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, I think it's relatively simple. See, bis mil la here, and then I have capital R. Oh, actually, is it this? Um, so to be to be fair, this should be capital H. Remember, we talked about it last time. The two types of pass on one is you know the regular. Um, uh, basically, uh, with, with one is relatively heavy, which is the, I'm using capital H for it. So here, okay. And uh, the other one, which is lowercase h. Again, if you don't get it, don't worry about it. I'm just keeping it there so you have some distinction. So rah. So this is coming from um, the middle of the uh, the throat. 
راح اوكي اند راح اوكي اند ذن اذر وان از هير بسم الله راح ما نير كابيتال ار فور هابينس راحيم Okay, so simple. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Or you can even say like this: Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay, so that was beneficial. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.